Now, uh, it has reached a point whereby most of us are reading the Bible and understanding it in our own ways. Nobody is questioning you. Nobody is asking you what have you understood. Like, there are so many stories in the Bible. But uh, how are you, like a Christian-founded person, how do you take those stories and manifest those stories in your life? You know, most of us have gone through the Bible. We've read all the stories, like from Genesis to Revelation. But if somebody asks you now, the story that you've read, what has it manifested in your life? <laughs> Nothing. What have you understood? Simple, I've understood A, B, C, D. But now, can you practice it in your own life? <laughs> Nothing. Now, it has come a point, like, we need to understand whatever we read in the Bible. You know, the Bible was, was, um, was written with people who are, who are given that word to put it in a manner that it will bring light into our lives. Now, reading the Bible is not all about you have to go to school, somebody has to teach you on how to read the Bible. Mm -mm -mm -mm, it's not like that, okay? It's all about, like, you understand it in Swahili, go read the Swahili Bible. You understand it in English, go read it in English. You understand it in your own language, like your mother's, your mother tongue. Go read it the way it is. But now the question comes in, how am I bringing these stories into my life? I was reading, uh, I was reading, uh, I was reading another another story in the bible okay this story everybody knows about it like everybody knows this story the story of, the story of david and goliath <laughs> so i discussed this thing in another platform and everybody was like ah no now i understand and then i was like okay hiya so i can i can talk about this thing and like in a in a in a in a deeper manner so that people will understand okay so i said ah let me just discuss about this thing Huh? So now, uh, I was reading this story of David and Goliath. You know, his story, tumeko tunafundishwa, tukiwa wachanga, tukiwa wadogo. You understand? Eh, vile Goliath alikuanga jitu kubwa, lafu Daudi alikuwa natoka from a humble family, humble background. You know, David was chosen. You know, everybody was like, how, how are we going to kill the Philistines? And then this cowboy comes in uh, with all the smallness in him uh, and is like, Mimi, I'm can, I can kill this person. I can kill this man. Mm, this giant, you know, and everybody knows about that story. I'm not lying. Everybody knows about David and the giant called Goliath and how David uh, decided to kill Goliath using stone, stone, mawe, mawe, nabanta, you know, that castling thing. Uh -huh. And everybody doesn't understand like what is all about the story of David being a small kid taking taking charge and going to fight the Philistines he himself deciding like I'm not going full armed like with my helmet na mamikono zimefungwa fungwa machuma mwili mewekwa sijui nini ni ah forget about that thing Mimi, I'm going to take stones now the Christian founded people don't even understand why did David take the stones and why not two, three, four, five, six, seven? Why, 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 why not ten? Why five? You know, I asked, I asked that question, and people are telling me, "Oh, David picked seven stones." Now you, you understand? Like people are reading stories in the Bible just because they are just beautiful stories. We can remove movies from those stories. We can, you know, how are you? You, you are a mature person in the Bible. Now you have children. How are you, how are you bringing these children in a platform whereby they'll be understanding? If you read a Bible, you need to take it. You need to take an initiative of presenting what the Bible speaks. You know, we, we, are, we are not in the regime whereby we just teach our children. Ah, there was a, the, the one time there was David. David was a small kid. And then there was also another person called uh, Goliath. Goliath was a very gigantic person. Now nobody was able to kill this giant. And then David came in and decided to kill. Ah, 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 stop that thing. Hmm? It's okay, you know, making a child understand. You know, But you can train your child to understand the stories of the Bible in a very simple manner. Now, let me teach those who have matured in the spiritual realm, okay? Now, understand this. The story of David and Goliath is a very founded uh, Chris, Christian, uh, I don't know, Christian, I, I, I don't know how I can put it. Like, this story builds you as a Christian to understand that it is not all about faith and believing. It's all about acting those things. You have to act your faith, you have to act your believing. You have to be a believer who has faith and perform those two, okay? So, 
looking at the story of David and Goliath, now I want to teach you the reason as to why David and Goliath, that story came in to build you as a, as a Christian. Uh -huh. David came from a very humble background. David was the youngest. Sindio? So being the youngest, kulikuwa na hizo vita za wa filisti, you know. Now they were like, how are we going to shinda this Philistines? But because God had bestowed upon David, ya kwamba you will be, you, you, you are the only one who is going to kill that man. Oh. Hmm? You understand? So what does it mean? It means that you, 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 that you are listening and looking at me. Hmm? Wherever you are in that position you are in, God has chosen you, no matter how small you are, no matter how little you are earning, God has chosen you to fight battles to win them. Eh? As long as you have read that Bible, that verse, that chapter, and understood it very well, it means that you, 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 who have heard this word today, God has chosen you. God, God is manifesting in you that despite your smallness, your smallness can be in business. Maybe your business is not bringing more, but what are you supposed to do? Maybe your marriage is into that, that issue, you understand? Like things are so bad in your marriage, your children are disturbing you, things are not working for you yourself. Listen, the same way David was chosen to fight this battle is the same way God has manifested this story to you. And you have been chosen to be a winner. Now, how are, we, how are you going to be a winner if you don't understand the story of David and Goliath? Now, this is another part of that story. Hmm. Now, there is this Goliath. Goliath are those huge things that you fear. That gives you that, you know, those goosebumps like, how am I going to to defeat this thing. Now this trouble is so huge. Eh? How am I going even to, to make sure that I overcome this thing? Okay, so Goliath, Goliath is like that big uh, problem that you are having and facing like on a, on a, on a serious note. You get. So, uh, you understanding that you have been chosen. You have been chosen with a supernatural being called God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. We understand that. You have been chosen, but you are still blinded. You fear the Goliath. You feel like, I, Mimi, no, me, I, how am I going to fight this thing? Eh? Call pastor. Let, let, the, let Washirika come and pray for me. It is not all about Washirika coming to pray for you. You have been chosen and you have to pick what is supposed to be picked for you to make sure that this Goliath in your life is defeated. Now, straight to the point. Why did why did David why did David uh, David like decide decided in his own perspective like Mimi Sivai is on my helmet I'm not taking all those hand gloves and all those metal sheets I'm not putting them on my body these things are very heavy I'm not taking any panga from anywhere I'm only going to pick some five smooth remember the Bible says David is removed all the, all those armors you know, all those armor yenye alikuwa mewekelewa hizo vitu mzito mzito. David said me, I'm not wearing these things. Ah, 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 ah. Eh? David just went to the brook. Akaenda, unajua watu, watu wa kitambo hizo enzo alikuwa na pigana karibu na mutoni. So that mukijinda munavuka ile ngambo ingine and you take over. You understand? So David went to the brook. Kando kando ya mto. Akachukua five smooth stones. Smooth. The Bible says smooth stones. Ngapi? Tano. Bibile haiku sema alienda akarokota mijimawe kubwa kubwa mijimawe za ajabu ajabu. Apana, Bibile nasema five small stones. Smooth five small stones. Ah, ah, smooth five stones. You understand? Bibile kusema alienda akachukua kuruke drugs. Ya kumba zile maroku zile zenya unabeba na kitu mpaka unangukana. Mm -mm. The Bible just indicates five smooth stones. Why didn't he pick seven? Why didn't he pick ten? No, 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 no. Now that is where the point comes in. You as a Christian, hmm? what are you supposed? What are you supposed to learn from the five smooth stones? Life as a Christian is always smooth when you are with Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is always smooth because He Himself, the One who died for our sins, said, "Ya um, like like He died for everything. So He made it possible. He made it so smooth for us. You see how that thing is coming on. Now remember, Ya um, David now, wakati alinda tu akainama, akachukua tumawetu tano tenye nitu smooth. What are you understanding when somebody tells you now you are picking the five stones in your life to fight Goliath? You are supposed to pick what as a Christian founded person for you to fight your problems. Most of these things people don't understand. Let me tell you, it is, it is, it is the way you take it. It is the way you understand it. Huh? So, uh, me I came to find out, that's why I'm like I want to teach you people so that you can understand. If you are a Christian and you want to fight your battles, 
you need these five stones and for me i analyze these five stones so uh, in a manner that that is the reason why kumbe david was able to defeat this giant the five stones you as a christian you need to have faith okay like ngoja kwanza because wakati aliweka zile five stones kwa castling bag kake david picked only one so i'm going to direct you unto which the christian is supposed to hold on to five stones you as a Christian, you need to have five smooth stones. You have to, you need to have faith. Hmm? Chukua faith, weka, kwa sling bag. Chukua obedience, weka, kwa sling bag. Chukua the service of God, weka, kwa sling bag. Chukua prayer, ingiza kwa sling bag. And above all, chukua Holy Ghost, weka. Nimesema nini? Number one, chukua faith. Faith is all that is all entailing. Like you need to have faith when you are fighting your battles. Number two, you have to have obedience. Obedience. Unye nye kevu. Yani unati sheria. Wakati unapoti sheria, inakurudisha kwa biblia. Inapokurudisha kwa biblia, the Bible will illustrate as to why you have to have obedience for you to survive battles in life. Number three, you need to have the service of God. Eh? You need to act. You need to act your faith and obedience. Okay? When you act your faith and obedience, you are now standing strong and declaring that me, Misasa, I'm going to be a winner. No matter what comes, no matter where you are, we, wo, wa, I have to be a winner. So you have to practice that service. Okay? So the service will be combined with faith and that obedience. And then number four, number four, prayer. Mm? As you are practicing these things, making them work, what are you doing? You are praying for you to have to have that winning power. And then the Holy Ghost, you know, this, you know the gift of the Holy Ghost. There are so many, you can go and read them in the Bible. If you have these five things, there is nothing that can defeat you. Out of these five things, if you pick one, lazima utakuwa mshindi. That is why David aliingia kwa mfuko na akachukua mawe moja. Hatujui kama ilikuwa faith ama ilikuwa obedience ama ilikuwa service ama ilikuwa prayer ama ilikuwa Holy Ghost. Whichever stone David picked out of those things that I've said, five of them. Moja, that is why Goliath was, was able kukua defeated. Because ukichukua faith, uyeke into action, lazima utawin. Uwe tu na obedience, utawin. You understand? Uwe tu na, do the service of the Lord, you will win. Kuwa na Holy Spirit and when you pray, you are going to win. So now listen, we are coming into that perspective of being, um, of being, of, of being now a Gentile. You understand? The Bible came to enlighten Gentiles because sisi wa Gentile, you know, people don't like talking about their, their issues, their, their traditions, their, you know, mambozaoza kinyumbani. You understand? Sisi ni binadamu. You know, you know. And because we are human beings, we are prone to get into things that now zinatupeleka kwa mila na desturi. You know, traditions, the myths, all these things. Huh? We've been doing these things all along. Now let me teach you how these things work. Uh, mi nakumbuka ni kifunzo wa kitu. Niliambiwa ya kwamba, eh, if you are going through a lot of issues, maybe you have bought a land and your neighbor is a witch. Your neighbor is disturbing you. Your neighbor does not want to see anything good in you. Go pick those five stones. Hmm? Go pick those five stones. Say that out of these five stones, I have faith, I have obedience, I have service in it, I am going to pray, and the Holy Ghost fire is in these stones. Any stone that I'm going to pick, I want to throw this stone in that home so that whatever is there will be defeated in Jesus' name. Just pick those stones. Eh? Just pick one. After kama umesha nenea, rusha uko. Mungina atasima, ah, yu ni uganga ni uchawi. Apana, apana, apana. Izo ni mila na desturi. Ivo ndiyo watu walikuwa wanafanya kitambo. Okay? When they discovered the story of David and Goliath, they didn't know how to how these things manifest into people's life. Now, sisi tukawa tunafunzwa. Umeandikuwa kazi. Kuna mvurutano. Kuna watu wanakuonea. Vitu zako zinaenda vibaya kazini. Ni mabarua tuza warning letter kila siku. Go pick the five stones. Small five stones. While you are in that office, declare that out of these five stones, whichever that I'm going to pick is going to help me, help me in this office. Chukua moda, kama niyo, pick, declare it is faith, obedience, service, prayer, and Holy Ghost. 
pick one just throw it because wengine they be like ah sikuna CCTV mtu atakuona ukirusha mawe throw those stones with a manifest and a mind a mind that has been manifested in don't throw it kama mtu mwenye ajielewi Hmm? chukua hiyo mawe rusha kwa ofisi enda pale kwa reception na umeksho sure umeirusha mahali mtu hata kuwa nafikiria like ana hiyo mawe inafanya nini pale enda uto mm -mm. it has to be in a place where by that stone will stay there for a very long time okay aya tuko huku manyumbani majirani huko nyumbani kwa wazazi wetu majirani wamekuwa wachawi waganga watu wanao tufuruga amani and you are like now what am i supposed to do go pick the five stones smooth ones eh uh -huh. pick them Unajua ukiwa kwa nyumba you just wait after you have gone into prayer and you want to practice to practice that service you allow the holy ghost fire to intervene in those stones chukua hizo mawe rusha nga 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 ha tena nyingine nga 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 ha nyingine tena na 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 rusha okay mahali italand kwa hiyo boma kwa hizo maboma zenye hizo mawe umetupa it is going to suppress anything as long as it, it that thing is relating to a goliath is going to be null and void okay so what am i trying to to tell you what am i trying to teach you my people it's simple wewe umekuwa unasoma tu biblia story ya daudi na goliath umekuwa unasoma but you've never understood hizi mawe tano mbona tu huyu kijana hakuokota mawe sita hizi mawe tano ni nini put yourself in that shoe and understand me as a christian what am i supposed to arm myself with mimi i analyze and i'm like i'm arming myself with faith I'm arming myself with obedience, I'm arming myself with the service of the Lord, I'm arming myself with prayer, and I'm arming myself with the Holy Ghost fire. That is why when I use one of these five, I will defeat any Goliath in my life, okay? So from today, learn to activate your faith, learn to activate your obedience. If vitu kama zina kusumbua, zime kukera, go pick the five stones, manifest on those stones that wherever I'm sending you to land, That Goliath that is there that has been disturbing my house, suppress it. Let it be a null and void activity. Mm -hmm. It will work, I'm telling you, it will work. Don't take, don't take these stories in the Bible like, ah, it's only story too. Cinema story too za kufurahisha watoto. Wewe wakati ulikuwa unasoma, wewe ulikuwa mtu mtoto. Saizi wewe ni mtu mzima, bado wewe unasoma stories za watoto. Hapana, you need to understand that this is a manifestation in a Christian founded home. So your home is a founded place. So listen, mm, listen very well, okay? Put this into practice and you are going to see change. Okay? So guys, thank you very much. And I know, by the way, you are going to practice this thing. Mm? Just practice it. It works miracles. For those who have faith and obedience, it works like a miracle thing. So I salute you as you practice and as you understand the manifestations of the Bible. <laughs> thank you guys for watching.